now that we have um, either downloaded the Kiro ISO or build it and then you'll find it in your home directory Cairo out it's time to install it an easy way to do things is working with a template and these are the settings today for my template I switched a few months ago maybe from VM SVG to Vivo box SVG again right use what works that is the general rule <laughs> use what works and um, these are the settings here so general we're an expert advanced description let's go over them so you can see what i have and decide if you want to change something else we're using the efi so enable efi special os's only basically we're telling him we're a new computer and that's uh, system display is these settings storage audio network right and freeze the frame and see what i have what you have compare or you use another tool right there are virtual box just type in virtual machines there's vmware there's boxes there's qmu there's lots of things i'm still sticking to this one right i'm cloning this thing and i'm using cairo telling him i'm gonna install cairo so either you download it and let's see if the download is there right the download is here so either you do it with a download or you do it with a build doesn't really matter well yes it matters but it's in uh, it's just time wise different older kernels etc older packages so this if you build it it's the newest the latest package and if you update there's nothing to update because you just build it but when it comes from SourceForge, you'll know, have some some time right some age so choose so let's take the one from SourceForge, which is in the download which means we will we'll do updates you boot up and i've made decisions so let's go over them cairo is less complexity i don't want refined i don't want grub i want systemd right i do have nvidia in the home here so i'll i kept this one i don't want all the other kernels i've been fine for the last 10 years with the linux kernel all my machines so i don't need lts i don't need sandmod zen whatever right so i skipped a few things so you compare if you want to build the ISO, something similar as this, right? The idea is the Phoenix. Build your thing from the ashes of the Archonix project and also Cairo here. Then you need to compare. I've omitted three lines. They're just these lines now. So let's boot up. We're still bleeding. Spectre version 2 mitigation for the last 10 years maybe not sure when it started but here we are and this you should be very accustomed to this thing right this is even the same wallpaper <laughs> just saying welcome to Aclex there's no pop-up there is no Arch Linux uh, login or anything no there is just Calamaris you want to install things like this I recommend you do the debug you see more in the debug than this one it's just a button more but it will tell you some more information about the installer and this is simple right so there's no welcome app done finished what we'll keep is the Arch Linux tweak tool and the Arch Linux logout right but this is the way how to launch it install you'll probably find it right once you say, what am I going to do with this thing? You'll probably have a look at all the applications that are there and you'll find it. So, Calamaris is the GUI. It's changed the way I want it. And this is the debug, right? So we have some more information if you want to investigate, learn about Calamaris. American English is my choice. Brussels is okay. And Belgian keyboard is a must. 
erase the disk, no swap, all choices. What I've done is there is no choice anymore. Butter of S and all the others. No, I fixed it. X4. There is no choice. This is the ISO for me. I know I'm gonna choose X4. So why would I need a drop down, right? Choices. Next. Use the same password. No complexity questions. I want to have that password. Install now and off it goes. And because of the, the debug thing, you can actually have a look what's going on technically. Click here. And these guys are just created by AI ChatGPT to be specific. Told them, look, give me some bluish, darkish sci-fi thing, future thing with the letters Cairo. And this is what it produced, right? I don't care. It's my ISO, right? Whatever is in here, the blah blah that all the distribution give, it's okay, right? It's fine, but I don't care. I know what my ISO is, what it does, what it can do, and this is just for fun. So I thought, yeah, let's just ask ChatGPT to create some nice images. It makes it bigger as well. <laughs> Not that nice anymore. Right, better like this. Can be probably made smaller again, still smaller. Yep, that's it, that's the smallest. And that looks like this. So, if you're developing, if you're designing things, right, make sure you've tested in all, all resolutions what happens to your application, in this case, Calamaris. One of the things is, all right, there is no online choice. It's all offline. There will be zero problems because of the fact there is no, well, there's never zero problems, but the, all the problems that are linked to the keys and going online and servers and firewalls and country blocking users and all that, right? It's avoided. Guys, the guys who want to create their own ISO for a community later on, right? Don't do the online option. That's what I've learned in 10 years now, or eight years. Don't do that, right? It's too much danger. Give them an app to later install applications or configuration, do that. But don't mess around because you can't control the online world, right? It's all also, it's, it's uh, hard enough to already control all the hardware that's there. So Arch Linux, you see system deboot, no grub, system deboot, no refine, no no need for it. And I'd like to have SDM, a nice little wallpaper, it's backend. Wayland is not a go yet, but X ChatWM is here. So if well let's go for well you've seen XFC, right? So let's go for ChatWM. And there we are. Remember, VirtualBox, Control alt o and delete PyCon, eh? stopping PyCon. And once you've stopped everything, the bar is there. Then you know, oh, all good. Control alt o ISO, we update, and there will be updates, I suppose. Nothing to do, good. <laughs> nothing to do is nothing to do. So there we go. Um, this is it, right? This is it, there's not much to tell you now anymore. It's um, all the guys that were on Arclex will recognize everything because it's basically reuse of all the code of Arclex. So um, it's the Arco Chat WM, etc. etc. It's the XFCE. So in the config, have a look around. Arco Chat WM, Alacrity is here, Arch Linux Logout is here, Btop, Fast Fetch, Fish is here, Quantum, Logos, Micro, Neo Fetch. I mean, I'll take a look variety configuration you see all the wallpapers coming up i have not chosen this wallpaper right it's it's variety going to which one was it again wallhaven eh? preferences wallhaven fetching things for space for minimal sci-fi that's that's a nice one yeah voila and then um, there you go you have your system 
And of course, I've made my choices and probably not your choices, but that's the point of the Project Cairo. Those are my choices. You can learn from it, you can use it, you can change it, but I won't change it because you ask for it. It's my personal choice, this particular ISO. All right, enjoy playing around with it. You'll find that there are lots of things that are similar. So rip, will rip work? Yes, rip will work. All, all the aliases there, all the aliases are here, right? In fish, in ZSH, can I fix the keys? Sure you can fix the keys. Anything that we used to have will work again. In Cairo, why would I? invent everything again right no so lots of the packages migrated the essential packages migrated to nemesis repo and all the rest packages and all that when we're missing them from the arch linux repos we get them from the chaotic aor and that'll be that enjoy cairo <laughs>